Hello everyone, uh, there's been a recent update to the mod, um, so I just want to show you a few of the, uh, the new features. Uh, there's been some bug fixes, um, but uh, this is the new stuff. So first of all, um, forms are now upgradable. Uh, there's a suggestion in the suggestion box for upgradable buildings. Uh, so I've started with forms and I'll, I'll move on to upgrading uh, other buildings as well later, but forms were the the easiest and the most obvious one to do first. So this is like a just a normal form that you've built. It's quite a big one, really. Um, so this is now known as a, a level one form. So you can just like go to here, and up at the top there is this level one form. And it's a wheat form, and it's I can upgrade it to level two, and it's going to cost 20 credits and 53 cents, which is quite a bit, but. It is quite a big form. Um, smaller ones only cost like a, a few credits or something. So before you do upgrade it to two, two, um, just one thing I, I did notice with it: the, the level two, it, it'll build a fence and lights around the outside of it. So first thing you want to do is make sure there's nothing on this area here. Make sure there's nothing in the way, like a, a building or. Um, some other sort of block because if there's anything here all the way around it it won't place the fence down because it doesn't want to obviously destroy whatever you've got there so just make sure it's clear all the way around first so that there's just dirt or grass or whatever so t then to upgrade it then you just go to the, the box and upgrade to level 2 and there you go the fence is being laid and you can also see under the fences every so often there's a, a, a light box that just helps the uh, the crop grow a little bit faster because um, it's getting light overnight and the fence will stop people like trampling on it and losing losing their, uh, their crop that way so that's level two and then if we go back again and now I can upgrade it for level 3. Again it costs the same because it's the same amount of area. Um, I might tweak this a bit. It's just uh, just what it, what it, how it works right now. So upgrade to level 3 and what that will do, if I just jump inside, it will place irrigation blocks um, every so often. They're spaced equally apart. They may look a bit weird sometimes because it's uh, um, just it's just the way it works, um, but it should be enough to make sure that the all the soil and the entire farm is kept wet. You can see the, a few blocks here turning wet, um, but it should that should be enough to cover the whole area, um, so it irrigates everything. And again, that that will help the uh, crop grow a little bit quicker. And underneath. Uh, is a light box as well, just to provide extra light. But the main purpose of that is, in uh, in a snowy biome, the, the water in the irrigation will actually freeze, so <laughs> a bit useless really. So the uh, the light box actually emits heat as well as light. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that before. Um, so that should keep the water from freezing. So it should keep the the crop watered even in a, a frozen environment. And that's it. If you, if you can think of any more uh, level ups for a farm, like a level 4 and do something else, then uh, if you put it in the suggestion box or I'll post it on Facebook or something like that. Um, but I think that's about the maximum you're going to get out of a farm unless... The only one I thought of was uh, bone meal. Um, if you maybe level it up, it'll, the farm will use bone meal to speed up the process. So I might go with that one. So one other little change is a um, small one, but uh, fairly useful, I think. Simu craft building constructor activated. So when, that, when you go to build a house or anything now, we will just uh, hire someone. Hello, have a great day. Right, so if you go to choose a building, residential, and I'll, I'll build this small house. Um, again, you get the the normal box telling you how much it is and the size and things. But now, instead of building it straight away, you get this extra screen here telling me I need 85 planks, four glass, and seven wall to make this uh, house. So, 
if there's something you've not got then you can just done and go back and choose another house or if you're happy with that you can go ahead and build it I'm ready so then I need planks wool and glass probably too many there but there you go but I thought that might be very useful and since some, somebody else has mentioned it as well um, it's quite handy to know in, van, in advance how much it's going to be so that you can just uh, drop the stuff in the box and then just walk away knowing it's, it's going to be built alright and uh, uh, you don't need to keep checking on them to see if they need anything. Another little change is to do with the uh, the markers. Um, normally if you place like a marker there and another one there and say another one lined up with that one if you then like change your mind and think well that's not big enough and it, uh, remove that marker and place it somewhere here instead um, although the three markers are there in position they, they're sort of not there in memory um, so you end up with weird little effects that, that happen where it, it won't build or it won't mine properly or something like that so now what I've done is if you remove one of the markers it now removes all of the markers and then you can go and pick them up um, that kind of forces you to uh, place all three again uh, just to save on a bit of confusion really it's also handy if you've um, left markers lying around so like I've got one over there that I'd forgotten about and I'm right way over here um, I can just remove that one and it removes both I pick them up here, I don't have to go way over there. So just handy that, that way. So another new feature is a new building, um, glass factory, which you'll find under the industrial um, section, and uh, a new job to go with it, glass maker. So this is the building, I, I built these steps uh, extra, and I'm going to do the same job. Basically it digs out all the sand around the area, except if it's under the building or anything else really. So. Um, you know how stupid the, the folks can be when trying to walk around so uh, if you build some steps it uh, makes it easier um, so once you've built the uh, actual factory itself there's a few chests with it, plenty for uh, glass and sand um, it should be around here somewhere as you can see it's been, it's been digging for quite some time now so uh, most of the sand has been removed and it's just this sandstone and uh, anything underneath it. It's somewhere around here, digging away. I think you can hear it beeping. Hello there. Lovely day, isn't it? Right, so he's um, he's just messing around with the furnace. He'll go from like digging up the sand and then bring in, well collecting about 64 blocks of sand, then he'll come back to the factory and place it into the chest. And you can see some there. <coughs> then you'll look into the, uh, the furnace and just top up any of the sand level there. Uh, it'll also top up the fuel level uh, whatever you're burning and it'll also remove any glass that's been cooked and place it into the chest. Um, so you'll need to provide him with some uh, some coal or uh, wood or anything like that, anything that burns in a furnace. Um, just place it into one of the chests like I've done here. There's, there's quite a bit in here for him. Um, <coughs> otherwise he'll just collect the sand and just dump it into the chest until you, you do supply him with fuel. Um, one other thing, once, the, once all the sand's gone from a certain area, he'll only dig up sand from a certain area around the actual factory. Um, there'll be some sand left left behind like that so you just spend the rest of the time just standing in front of the furnace and uh, filling it full of sand and, and coal and things like that and he's back with his 64 blocks at the moment so he'll put that in the, the chest first and then he'll check the oops check the sand level and take any glass out I'll just check on that so he's topped up the sand and taken the glass out and it's just starting to to go again. So eventually you'll end up with like just a chest full of glass and maybe a bit of fuel left over. Um, 
but yeah plenty enough to build glass towers and everything from that <laughs> 